face masks have become one of the most coveted items amid the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide. As countries are gradually recovering from lockdown, public health officials are requiring people to wear masks in public. The ever-increasing demand is prompting mask factories around the world to work around the clock. Earlier, I visited the one located right here in Beijing, a city that earlier did not produce its own face mask. Take a look at this newly established face mask factory and their stories. So I'm now standing in a factory here in Beijing, 45 minutes drive from the CBD area. This is the very first factory in which surgical masks were being produced at the end of January to provide to the residents in Beijing. From zero to one, this is quite a story. Let's follow me. We will have Jing Jing, who is here waiting for me. She is responsible for this factory's overseas sales. And we are going to meet her in the warehouse. Jing Jing. Hello. Hello. Hi. So finally, we could meet. Yeah. I've been talking to you on the phone several times. Mm -hmm. I guess the greetings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a way to shake hands, right, mm -hmm. for today. Yeah. This is very special. Yeah. How you been? Uh, it's um, everything now. It's better, but uh, still our factories are running for 24 hours every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. So you have three shifts of workers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the warehouse you have. Yes. That's where all the raw materials? Yeah, I want to show you our warehouse. Okay. This is the face mask. Yeah. Oh, so here all the important are. materials are here. We have uh, three layers. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. And so this, this layer is coming from where? This one? Yes. Okay. And the blue, of course, over here. A small face mask, so simple. But mm -hmm. at the time of the pandemic, mm -hmm. everybody wants to get hold of one of yeah, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how many are you producing every day? Um, right now, we have 10 automatic machines and uh, around uh, uh, 400,000 to 500,000 pieces every day. That's a lot. More or less. Yeah. More or less. I'm always uh, amazed by how you try to do everything. You know, the zero to one story, I'm sure it's going to be a difficult one. Tell me more about it. At the beginning, everything is very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to find the workers. We have to transport the production lines. We have to transport the raw material. Mm -hmm. Everything is from zero, uh, zero to one. It's totally difficult. So at that time, it was the end of January. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the yeah. factory started? Yes. Mm. Just a short note for our audience because the January the 23rd was the time when Wuhan just got locked down. Mm -hmm. And since then, a lot of Chinese cities, in fact, did not interact with one another much mm -hmm. in order to achieve social distancing. Mm -hmm. And also the highways closed down. So one could imagine how you transport all of these things into Beijing. You can imagine that how difficult we are experienced before. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then how did you do it? I mean, from then on to produce as many surgical masks as possible. Mm -hmm. Because the residents in Beijing pretty much depend on this one factory, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can show you one of our workshops. A workshop where the masks are produced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Great. Okay. Right, just uh, follow me. All right then. This is the changing room, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Before uh, entry of our workshop, we have to wear the shoe cover, okay. the Got cap, it. the cap, and uh, wear the isolation gown. Okay. I can show you. And this cannot touch the board no, anymore? No, no. Oh, I also have the isolation. Yeah. Oh. 
Every day like this, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but things are getting much better now, right? Yeah. Beijing is even opened. So, where are you selling the face mask to? Um, we are selling the face mask to different places in China and overseas. We are selling to Spain, mm -hmm. France, um, Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, Germany. Um, there are a lot of countries. Are you guys going to also have a few days off? Uh, we are planning to have the holiday for one or two days off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the workers are very, mm, uh, very, very hard working yeah. every day. Uh, it's, al it's, it's almost uh, 100 days keeping working. What is it like when you see your customers in other parts of the world mm -hmm. wearing your face masks? and ah. can be safe. What is it like for you? It's uh, honorable for us. It's, um, uh, we, are selling, uh, we are now selling to the hospital directly. And uh, when hospitals. I, yes, oh. the hospitals. When I um, receiving the message from the hospitals and our customers that uh, they are unloading the face mask from the airplane mm -hmm and uh, send to the face mask to the house tolls. It's really honorable for us. Yeah. We want to thank you for your work. <laughs> thank you. Save a lot of lives, mm -hmm. indeed. Mm -hmm. Thank you so it's much, a, It's Jing. a mission. It's a mission it's for a mission. our factory. Yes, yeah. indeed. As you can see, this is only one of those very early factories being established since the end of January in Beijing to provide surgical masks like this to the massive population here in this city. And things in China are quieting down, but in other parts of the world, the pandemic still continues. So they are still working 24 hours a day in order to provide the masks to the hospitals and to their customers everywhere in the world. Wish them good luck, and you also be well.